A bold move by a popular chain of stores this morning as the gun debate polarizes Americans. Dick Sporting Goods will no longer sell assault-style rifles or high-capacity magazines at any of its stores. This includes its 35 field and stream outlets. The company also announced it will no longer sell a firearm to anyone under the age of 21. School is in session right now and students are returning to class in Florida two weeks after they ran for their lives from a gunman during a Valentine's Day massacre. 17 people died in Lakeland that day. This morning, 400 law enforcement officers from around the state provided support and security while parents dropped their children off. The teenage suspect confessed to the murders and told investigators he had no issues getting ammo or weapons. It's been a violent 24 hours in Montgomery County. A killer is on the run after a deadly shooting there overnight. This is the man police are looking for, Rashad Watson. Police say Watson went into a home on Paradise Hill Road in Clarksville and shot and killed 40-year-old Aaron Johnson. Police believe Watson may now be with Chrissy Huntley Johnson. She is not a suspect, but police are concerned for her safety. If you see Watson, call police immediately. And just hours before that murder, another shooting in Clarksville. This surveillance shows a drive-by shooting on Van Leer Street. The gunman leans out the window and fires at least three shots at a teen riding his bike. The 17-year-old was lifelighted to Vanderbilt with a serious gunshot injury. Police are now looking for the suspects inside that white sedan. Nearly a dozen people are still recovering this morning after a bizarre and scary situation at a key military base just outside of Washington, D.C. Eleven people came into contact with a letter containing an unknown chemical. This happened at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall in Arlington, Virginia yesterday. Three people had to be taken to the hospital for treatment. Police are continuing their investigating with the help of local hazmat teams, NCIS and the FBI.